You know, there are certain things that just deserve to be responded to very, very quickly because they, in the absence of proper response, can have a spreading effect and send misinformation out into the universe that gets replicated. Such is the case in this extraordinary example just uh, in the month of June in 2018 of the PREDIMED study, this uh, extraordinary landmark study done in Spain and other uh, Mediterranean countries uh, that looked at the effect of a Mediterranean diet on cardiovascular disease risk. And you might recall in 2013 in the New England Journal of Medicine, a summary of this uh, paper was uh, was published, uh, an editorial actually, which uh, was a really interesting editorial entitled, Something New Under the Sun, the Mediterranean Diet and Cardiovascular Health, which was uh, really speaking to the results of this paper uh, that appeared in the journal entitled Primary Prevention of Cardiovascular Disease with the Mediterranean Diet, uh, the principal investigator being uh, Miguel Ang Angel uh, Martinez uh, Gonzalez. And of all the papers that we've seen and all the studies that have been published in nutrition intervention, this one has to stand out as one of the most important studies that showed a very significant reduction in, in risk by those individuals who uh, administered or, or complied with a, a Mediterranean diet, olive oil and nuts uh, included. And it was seemingly a very well-structured and well-done uh, study, uh, occupied uh, thousands of individuals over a lengthy period of time. Uh, we've reviewed this in the past, and it has set a tone for clinical trials in the area of nutrition intervention and the importance of nutrition as a primary therapeutic uh, tool for the reduction of one of the most significant uh, diseases in, in our culture, which is uh, cardiovascular disease. And everything looked fine until um, uh, Dr. Carlisle, anesthesiologist, um, started looking at clinical trials in the field of anesthesiology, particularly by a Japanese investigator that had over 160 papers that he had published on various uh, intervention trials in, in anesthesiology. And uh, Carlisle uh, took exception uh, to kind of these tones of these papers and decided he'd look at the procedures a little more closely. In so doing, he eventually taught himself statistics, got uh, outside support for looking at this, and found that uh, not only were these uh, studies um, not properly randomized that Fuji had, uh, had, had published, but uh, they probably deserved uh, to be retracted because the conclusions may be flawed. And in fact, they resulted in the retraction in all these journals of these studies of more than 160 papers, uh, making, making these uh, studies of this anesthesiologist in Japan the most retracted scientists in the history of published uh, research. Uh, but Carlyle didn't stop there. He went on and examined many other clinical trials in other fields to see if this new way of looking at randomization that he had developed uh, would uh, pick out flaws in other studies. And out of the 5,000 papers that he examined in the New England Journal of Medicine, he found 11 that seemed to be uh, similarly flawed uh, as it relates to the randomization procedure in these clinical trials, uh, one of which was the PREDIMED study. <clears throat> that resulted then in, in uh, further looking uh, that um, uh, Professor uh, Gonzalez uh, actually uh, enlisted a team of experts to come in and look at the data, and they found that, lo and behold, Carlisle was right. There were some problems in randomization, for instance, uh, in a village uh, that was involved in this in Italy where they uh, should have been randomized. Uh, it turned out that the whole village wanted to have the free olive oil, and so they all were on the, on the program rather than randomization as should have taken place. So that resulted then in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, retracting this landmark paper in 2013 on uh, the Mediterranean diet and cardiovascular disease. This is a, you know, a, a seismic uh, kind of uh, implication as it relates to the fundamental evidence that supports uh, nutrition intervention. Well, from that then, uh, the uh, clock runs very rapidly forward. Uh, we see reports on all the major media, including national public radio and, and uh, public te television, uh, discussing the implications of these studies and the impact, and then coming to recognize that uh, we don't just sit at rest, that we could recast this data. And so uh, the, the group in, uh, in Spain with uh, Martinez Gonzalez et al. Uh, once again took out the confounders of the non-randomized individuals, re I looked at the statistics and, uh, and lo and behold found fortunately that the uh, data conclusions had, uh, had been supported even uh, by removal of, of the non-randomized individuals uh, and that there was a significant uh, reduction in risk in cardiovascular disease in those that were adherent to the Mediterranean diet. And that led then to the first time that I've ever seen this happen, uh, a republishing of this, uh, this paper now in the um, June 21st issue 
of uh, 2018 in the New England Journal of, Journal of Medicine entitled Primary Prevention of Cardiovascular Disease with a Mediterranean Diet Supplemented with Extra Virgin Olive Oil or Not. So it's basically the same data set uh, as the 2013 study with the removal of the non-randomized uh, individuals and a redoing uh, of the statistics. Now, I think it's important uh, for the sake of understanding as to how this was managed uh, in the scientific literature. And it turns out that there is just a subtle but kind of important difference in the conclusions of these two studies. Whereas in the 2013 study, and I'm going to quote directly, the conclusion was among persons at high cardiovascular risk, a Mediterranean diet supplement of extra virgin olive oil or nuts reduce the incidence of major cardiovascular events. That's the conclusion of the 2013 trial. Now the 2018 recalculated and redone uh, statistics uh, without the um, groups that were not randomized, here are the conclusions of this trial. Same data, uh, same subjects, but just with a different data analysis. In this study, involving persons at high cardiovascular risk, the incidence of major cardiovascular events was lower among those assigned to a Mediterranean diet supplemented with extra virgin olive oil or nuts than among those assigned to a reduced fat diet. Now, you'll notice it's a very subtle but kind of important uh, difference between the two. Whereas in the original 2013 study, it said a Mediterranean diet supplement with extra virgin olive oil and nuts reduced the incidence, meaning there seemed to be a, a causative effect, in the 2018 repurposing uh, of, the, of the data, they said that um, it was a lowered incidence. They're not saying that it had a, pri they can't say it had a primary effect as the cause. So there's a slight difference in the phraseology uh, with the conclusion still about a 30% reduction in incidence uh, of those that were on the Mediterranean diet in, in, in both of those studies. So uh, the point I want to leave you with is uh, these are one of the problems that we encounter with dietary intervention trials over longer duration, compliance, and it's not the same as lab rats in a, a controlled study. It's not even the same as a human trial in short term, which is often done in pharmaceutical medicine for a, for a drug. But these longer term dietary interventions with ad lib patients that are out in the world at large are very complicated to, uh, to get clean uh, data. And I, I want to compliment uh, the Martinez-Gonzalez group for their, uh, their heads up and their, their direct way they've approached this. Also for the uh, study design and the recogni recognition of some of the flaws in the uh, randomization. But I think the important takeaway that all of us should remember is that the conclusion of the trial is still very positive for a Mediterranean diet intervention with individuals of cardiovascular disease risk in lowering their risk uh, significantly by approximately 30% which is, uh, by the way, comparable with any other kind of uh, clinical trial that's been done on a pharmaceutical preparation uh, over the period of time of this study. So I think that um, the, the outcome is uh, no different than was discussed uh, really in this uh, editorial, Something New Under the Sun, the Mediterranean Diet and Cardiovascular Health. But the specifics of the trial leads us to, to really be very, very cautious about uh, looking at the details of clinical trial design and their execution so that we, uh, we understand where reality and evidence uh, resides. But this uh, trial should be seen as a very positive continuing step forward in our understanding of the par uh, powerful role that personalized lifestyle intervention has in uh, chronic disease incidence risk reduction.